today is the 35th anniversary of the Black Wednesday because on this day, the 19th of October in 1977, the apartheid government get all media deemed to be promoting the struggle for democracy in this country. Today, as has been the case over the last few years, we are meeting in the glare of a democratic sunshine. We are meeting as government and the media in a democratic South Africa with a constitution that guarantees freedom of expression, including freedom of the press. This is a forum where such issues as the macroeconomic framework and climate, the demands of the National Development Plan or Vision 2030, our new growth path, and the attendant infrastructure development program can be explored with the aim of informing and inspiring South Africans to do and be better. Once again, welcome to the Sanef Government Forum. Thank you for your attention. Current account uh, imbalances is one of the challenges that we face in uh, uh, our country at the moment as a result of the mining strikes. We've had a decline in exports. More than 50% of our exports are mineral products. And that means that we are importing at the same level, but we're exporting less. And uh, fortunately, we still have money flowing in for portfolio investment. Uh, but we need to resolve these strikes uh, quickly and get production going and get exports going uh, if these imbalances are not to have a more severe effect. Uh, starting with the, the, the link to what uh, Minister Gordon has said, um, uh, if we look at the context for the infrastructure plan, certainly one of it is uh, the global economic context, recognizing that we've got to invest more actively in the sources of our own domestic growth and that infrastructure can play a key role. Uh, we've got capital available, there's, there's, there's appetite from the private sector, we've got clearly uh, labour ready to, to mine. But learning again from the platinum challenge of recent months, uh, how do you develop an urban development strategy around that? Lepalali is going to grow into a major area, it's going to be the Rustenburg of the future. And we have an opportunity now to get the human settlement uh, planning uh, in place. So that's, that's part of what we do. Thank you for the opportunity to present the uh, National Development Plan. The plan, uh, or at least the presentation, will cover the following areas very briefly. Just to remind ourselves about uh, the vision that's set out in the plan. Um, some six pillars of the plan, key targets, and the call to change the way in which we do things. And of course, the, the matching orders from the president. Oh, thank you, thank you very much, uh, DG. Uh, colleagues, uh, at this point, uh, we now uh, open the floor for clarity seeking questions. Yes, very well. Thank you very much, Deputy President. I was wondering um, if you think that we still, as a nation, have, a, have the appetite for the great social pacts of the 80s and 90s because it feels like. The Wednesday announcements have landed with a great thud, uh, both the calls for cut in salaries and bonuses and back to work if you saw what happened to um, Zulin Zima Vavi yesterday afternoon. Um, South Africa has to some degree, uh, democratic South Africa has come about due to a, a fairly strong belief in high ideals among a large proportion of the society. And uh, it is peculiar that once freedom was achieved, within a few years, we've lost attachment to those high ideals. If, if I may sum up uh, as, as uh, a way of uh, concluding this uh, session, I, I think what uh, has come out of this discussion is that we do need to, uh, certainly from a cabinet side, make information available in order to enable our colleagues in the media 
to communicate uh, the good story. So this brings us to the end of the meeting, colleagues. Uh,